I believe you've convinced him once again, Mr. Scrooge. Matthew Fred, I don't see him. Trust him. Hmm. Hello? Uncle? So, you're very good at that, Mr. Dickens. A Merry Christmas, Uncle Scrooge. God save you. Merry Christmas. Bah. Humbug. Quick, it'll be warmer in there. Christmas. You're poor enough. What right of you to be dismal? You're rich enough. He's got an edge, old boy. Speechless. If I could work my will, every idiot that goes about with Merry Christmas on his lips would be cooked with his own turkey mm. and buried with a steak of hollows with his heart. Well, not, not quite speechless. Oh, oh, I'm cool. Nephew, you keep Christmas in your own way and let me keep it in mine. Christmas is a loving, will do me good, and I say God bless it. Yeah. And how does one celebrate Christmas on the other planet? Now, in these times, it was customary on Christmas Eve for well-meaning gentlemen to call upon businesses collecting donations for the poor homeless. Mr. Scrooge, I presume. Who are you? Welcome. This jolly old gentleman here is Mr. Scrooge. He's very generous to charity. My dear nephew. At this festive season of the year, Mr. Scrooge, many of us feel that we must take care of our poor and homeless. I don't have any presents, none of poor houses. Oh, plenty of those, sir. Oh, excellent. For a moment, I was worried. Some of us are endeavoring to raise a... Left alone. I do not make merry myself at Christmas. That certainly is true. And I cannot afford to make idle people merry. That is certainly not true. Don't you have other things to do this afternoon, my dear nephew? Sadly, I do, Uncle. So I shall make my donation. And uh, leave you to make yours. Thank you so very much. Oh, Uncle, come and have Christmas dinner with me and Clara tomorrow. Why ever did you get married? Uncle, I shall keep my Christmas humor to the last. A Merry Christmas to you. And a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, Fred. Merry Christmas, Bob. I'm back. Then, sir, sir, about, about the, uh, donation? My taxes go to pay for the prisons and the poor houses. The homeless must go there. But the soap would rather die. If they'd rather die, then they'd better do it. And decrease the surplus population. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, dear. This is the door. You may use it. Uh, all right, Nico, come along. I think we've taken in enough of Mr. Scrooge's time. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Boy, how about people like Mr. Danny, when brightly shone on the moon that night, oh, better. <clears throat> what do you want? Uh, can I put a song up there? Oh! 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 Excuse me, Mr. Scrooge, but there appears to be closing time. Very well. I'll see you at eight tomorrow morning. Uh, um, tomorrow's Christmas. Eight thirty. Oh, uh, yeah, if you please, sir. Half an hour off. Uh, why, uh, the uh, whole day? Yeah, yeah, that's right. The entire day? No, no, that's the wrong idea. Uh, if you please, Mr. Scrooge, why open the office tomorrow? Other businesses will be closed. You'll have no one to do business with. It'll waste a lot of expensive coal for the fire. It's a poor excuse for picking a man's pocket every December the 23rd. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Will you stop that? Oh. Thank you, Mr. Scrooge. Be here all the earlier the next morning. With their employer gone at last, Bob Cratchit and the bookkeeper. Gentlemen, what pulls up for Christmas? Ooh. There's magic in the air this evening, magic in the air. The world is at her best, you know, when people love and care. The promise of excitement is one the night will keep. After all, there's only one more sleep till Christmas. Today the world has got a glow. There's no such thing as strangers when a stranger says hello. And everyone is family. We're having so much fun. After all, there's only one more sleep till Christmas. Okay, ready? Here we go.
A slight disorder of the stomach can make them cheat. You may be a bit of undigested beef, a blob of mustard, a crumb of cheese. Stephen of Grave, what a terrible pun. Where do you get those jokes? Please come to the bears, Ebenezer. Oh! Yes, gentlemen, Robert, no criticism. You always criticize me. We were always heckling you. It's good to be heckling again. It's good to be doing anything again. Why do you come to me? We specialize in causing pain, spreading fear and doubt. And if you could not pay the rent, we simply blew you up. <laughs> Where was the year we had up the entire orphanage? Uh, I remember the little tykes all standing in the snowbank with their little frosted teddy bears. <laughs> We're barley and barley, empty bound, we're double iron, exhausted by the weight. As freedom comes from killing love, so freedom comes with hate. We're barley and barley. We're barley and barley. Well, my friends, you were not unfeeling towards your fellow men. True, there was something about mankind we loved. I think it was their murder is a horror story written by your crime. Your chains are forged by what you say and do. Oh, the chains! We forged the chains in life by our legs of free! You wear such a chain yourself, spirits! Haunted? I've already had enough of that. Without these visits, you cannot hope to avoid the bed we did! Expect the first ghost tonight when the bell tolls one! Can't I meet them all at once and get it over with? When the bell tolls one! Barley and barley! Whoa! With that, the spirits of Scrooge's partners vanished into the darkness, leaving him once again alone in his room. Oh, that's scary stuff. Hey, should we be worried about the kids in the audience? No, it's all right. This is culture. I'm back. Come on. I don't really hate this. You want to know what was happening? Now, Scrooge's dead chamber is on his side of the house. Oh, a jump! There's only two things in this life I hate. Heights and jump. Missed. Oh, wait a second. I forgot my jelly beans. What? You can fit through those bars? Yeah. You were such an idiot. What? of a dreamless sleep. No, I thought I could break his tail falling out of this tree. You want to see what's going on, don't you? Yes. Look, there's Scrooge's window. There's a... Oh, 
Joys and cares, long, long forgotten. It's my old school. I was a boy here. That, that's Henry. And Edmund, my best friend. Hello, boys. Hello. These are the shadows of your past, Ebenezer. They can neither see nor hear. <laughs> I chose my profession in this room. And is he too familiar? Scrooge beheld a small boy, a boy he knew. Oh, very well indeed. Good heavens. It's me. I was often alone. More time for reading and studying. The Christmas holiday was, was a chance to get some extra work done. Time for solitude. Let's don't understand these things. You were never a lonely child? I had 1,207. They were all very much the same. Nothing ever changed. You changed? Yes, sir, Master. Well, young man, you have been apprenticed to a fine company in London business. It is the American way. Mm. Oh, it is the British way. Yes, sir, Master. Mm. Oh, here is your coat. Come, Scrooge. There is much to see. Remember, don't. A moment later, Scrooge found himself standing on a city street looking at a building he had not seen in years. Tell me, Ebony Scrooge, do you know this place? Know it? My first job was here. This is Fuzzywig's old rubber chicken factory. Once again, it was Christmas Eve. Night was falling and the lamplighters were plying their trade. What? Thank you. You're welcome. There he is, old Fuzzywig himself. Look, my lads, dust has fallen, and the lamplighters are at work. It's Christmas Eve, 4 September. What an employer he was. As hard and as ruthless as... Oh. I'll just grab hold of this stick. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Thank you, Thank you. Uh, uh, Excuse me, everyone. Can you keep me up quiet, please? <laughs> Whoa! Ah. Oh. I suppose I should be grateful for that. You're welcome. Uh, my old partners, as they were as last. Can I have your attention, please? <laughs> Quiet! <sighs> Thank you. Oh, that's better. <clears throat> welcome to Fuzzy Reagan Mom's annual Christmas party. At this time in the proceedings, it is a tradition for me to make a little speech. And it's a tradition for... Thank you all, and Merry Christmas. That, that was the speech. It was dumb. It was obvious. It was pointless. It was short. I loved it. <laughs> no more with speeches. Let's dance. Here's Mrs. Fozzywig to start 
the party. Way to go, Ma. Get it, boy. <laughs> Forget it. Mother always taught me never eat singing food. Excuse me, Mr. Foster. Excuse me. Sir, I've been going over the accounts. Do you know how much the firm is spending for this party? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, hello. This is for you. I love you, Beth. Spirit, show me no more. Why do you delight in torturing me? I told you, these were the shadows of the things that have been. It's all the ways that we 
show love that feel like Christmas. A quiet child that will always remember it is the summer of the soul in December. Yes, when you do your best for love, it feels like Christmas. It is the season of the heart, a special time of care spirit. The message if we hear it is made it last all year. Singing up a street corner choir It's going home and getting warm by the fire It's true wherever you find love It feels like Christmas It's true wherever Christmas It feels like Christmas It feels like Christmas His wife Clara having Christmas with friends. Oh, hey, look, fruit. Well, there now. We've had the plum pudding and some of the carrots. What now, my lovely? A game, Fred. Yeah, we must have a game at Christmas. Do people play games at Christmas? I love games. <laughs> hey, you know that fruit is wax? Oh, yeah. I wondered about the texture. <laughs> Let's look at things. I do have a good one, Clara. <laughs> Guess. Is it vegetable? No. Mineral. No. Animal What else? What else indeed? Uh, is it from on a farm? Never. In the city? Usually. Uh, Does it pull a handsome cup? <laughs> Certainly not. How about a dog? No. A cat? A cat. I said it first. No. No. Oh, reach. Oh, dear. It's too one. Wait, wait. I know. An unwanted creature, but not a ratalite or a cockroach. Then what? Then what? What? It's Ebenezer Scrooge. Yes. <laughs> Why have we come to this corner of the town? It's Christmas here too, you know. That's Bob Cratchit's house. Perhaps it was the spirit's own generous nature and his sympathy for all poor men that led them straight to the home of Scrooge's faithful clerk. Goose! They're cooking back in the smell! This is Bob Cratchit's house? How do you know that? You just told me. Hmm. Well, I'm usually trustworthy. <laughs> Who's that? Mrs. Cratchit, of course. <laughs> Dad, doesn't it? Oh, that smells wonderful. Oh, good grief. Hey, I'm stuck. Get me out of here. I knew you weren't suited for literature. Oh, oh at least I landed on something soft. for them to remember upon Christmas Day when they lame beggars walk and blind men see. A remarkable child. Such a meal feast. But very much appreciated. I pay Bob such a small amount. Mr. Scrooge. Bob. 
Bob Cratchit. It only seems right that I should lift the glass to my employer. I give you Mr. Scrooge, the founder of the feast. The founder of the feast, indeed. <laughs> if I had him here, I would give him a piece of my mind. Do I suppose that on the blessed day of Christmas, one must drink to the health of uh, Mr. Scrooge, even though he is only a citizen, wicked, and unfeeling, and badly dressed? <gasps> to the founder of the feast, Mr. Scrooge. To Mr. Scrooge, you'll be very merry and happy this day, I have no doubt. Oh, mm. Cheers. Life is full of sweet surprises. Every day's a gift. The sun comes up and I can feel it lift. My spirit fills me up with laughter, fills me up with song. I look into the eyes of love and know that I belong. Bless us all who can't place on earth. Come pairs with home. And every path will bring me back from where I roam. Bless us all, that as we live, we always comfort and forgive. We have so much that we can please love each other. Lead us to the light. Let us hear the voice of Singing in the night Let us run from anger Please and please, yes please Bless us one and all Bless us all With playful years With noisy games And joyful tears We reach for you a vacant seat by the chimney corner and a crutch without an owner. If these shadows remain unaltered, I believe the child will die. What then? If he's going to die, he'd better do it and decrease the surplus population. Oh, Spirit. As the Cratchit family vanished into the darkness, Scrooge kept his eyes upon Tiny Tim until the light. Spirit, do you grow old? I do! <laughs> Our spirit's life so short, my time upon this globe is very brief. I believe it will end upon the stroke of twelve. What? Now, a spirit. Oh, spirit, do not leave me. I think I must, in fact. You have meant so much to me. You have changed me. And now I leave you with the ghost of Christmas yet to come. You mean the future? Must I? Go forth and know him better, man. Go Last night, I believe. 
Wonder what he died of. Mm. I thought he'd never go. <laughs> well, I don't know or care why he's gone. I'd just like to know what he's done with his money. Oh, wouldn't we all? Well, he didn't give it to me. Come on, Owen. If lunch is provided. <laughs> oh, uh, speaking of lunch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know some of those gentlemen's spirit. Of what poor wretch do they speak? Sadness, I see. 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 Sadness, for the warmth, you know. You should. It's the only warmth they ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, Spirit. The case of this unhappy let me tenderness connected with this world. Or I'll be haunted by that terrible conversation for it. It's Bob Cratchit's house. Oh, yes, sir. Place of joy and love. Thank you for bringing me here. Why is it so quiet, Spirit? I'm 
Boom. <laughs> yes, the bedposts were his own. The bed was his own. The room was his own. Hi, guys, we're back. We promised we would be. But the thing that made Scrooge happiest of all was that his life lay before him. And it could be changed. I will live my life in the past, the present, and the future. Oh, Jack, have a role. They're not torn down. They're here. And I'm here. Oh, is there a Oh. Oh. I don't know what to do. I, I'm as light as a feather. I'm as happy as an angel. I'm, I'm as mad as a schoolboy. Um, do you think it's safe for us to be up here? Scrooge is safe. What can happen now? Yeah. What's today? Party? What's today, my fine fellow? Today? Well, today is Christmas Day. It's Christmas Day. I haven't missed it. The spirits did it all in one night. They can do anything they like. Of course they can. Of course they can. Uh, of course they can. <laughs> do you know the poultry shop in the next street? Yes, sir, I do. An intelligent lad. A remarkable lad. Do you know whether the price... Be serious. I am being serious. Buy it for me and I'll give you a shilling. No, I'll give you five shillings. Wow! And so the boy was off like a shot. So he got... Um, sorry. I'll bring it to Bob Cratchit's house. What a surprise it'll be. It's twice the size of Tiny Tim. And a few moments later... Merry Christmas. 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 Uh, gee, thanks. Everyone was out and about this fine morning. And soon he encountered two familiar faces. <gasps> Mr. Scrooge? Pardon me, gentlemen, but about the charity donation you asked me for yesterday. Put me down, did it, I assure you. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what to say. I just wish there was something we could give you. A gift? A gift for me? Thank you. With a thankful heart, with an endless joy, with a growing family, every girl and boy will be nephew and niece to me. Nephew and niece to me. Will bring love, hope, and peace to me. Love, hope, and peace to me. Yes, and every night will end, and every day will start with a grateful prayer and a thankful heart. Not with a glass, raise the toast to wealth. And a promise to share the wealth. Promise to share the wealth. On sale of friendly course. A friendly charm, a sea of love and a thankful heart. Life is like a journey. Who knows when it ends? His friends stop and look around you. The glory that you see is born again each day. Don't let it slip away. Precious life can be. Ebenezer Scrooge. Would I do a thing like that? No. Uh, I mean, yes, yes but, but you did. Bob Cratchit, I've had my fill of this. I've had my fill of you, Mr. Scrooge. And, Mr. and therefore, Bob Cratchit. And therefore, you came to this house at once. And therefore, I'm about to raise your salary. Oh, and I am about to raise you right off the paper. Yes, sir. Please, sir. Uh, come inside. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. Bob Cratchit, would you and your family 
care to join us for a little turkey dinner on this fine Christmas day. Merry Christmas. He became as good a friend, as good a master, and as good a man as the good old city ever had. And it was always said of him that he knew how to keep Christmas well if any man alive possessed the knowledge. May that truly be said of us and all of us. And so, as Tiny Tim observed, God bless us. God bless us. We carry you with us, so we never walk alone. Today.